Good morning everybody and welcome to another video. I actually attempted to start this video yesterday already but I'm in such a relaxing mood or I was in such a relaxing mood that it was just like really nice to actually I don't know like enjoy in the moment without even bringing any devices. The hair let's just discuss it at the beginning. This is the beach hair okay this is the situation this is what we're working for. So get used to it because it'll be present in this video a lot. The other thing that will be present in this video a lot is Filippo that you have seen somewhere walking around in and out hopefully he will be fully dressed you never know with Filippo guys as you probably know because at the beginning of the year I did I believe say that in my goals for 2023 Filippo and I gave ourselves a little I would say like kind of like a promise that every quarter of the year we would go away together on a trip that isn't work that is like sort of for us and we did that so we started the year in January we were in Dubai then in April we went to Maldives in August we went on holidays and now it's November basically and we are in Maldives again so this is something we really wanted to do for a while and I'm very lucky because one of my friends from back home who I'm gonna insert her Instagram here her name is Sanya Papic and she has like this incredible incredible venture going on for her she's a young entrepreneur and she has this huge business which revolves around travel to Maldives so I spoke to her and I was like you know what what like property would you suggest me to go to that we would like to see something new. Hi, Filippo. Hello. Which property would you suggest me to go to? Because obviously she's been to literally every and I trust her so much because I know that she has traveled around a lot and she would have known what's really good to visit. So she said to me, you know, like we were discussing a lot of different properties and then she told me like, wait for a second because I'm going to a new property. I'll, I'm going to check it out and then I'll let you know what I think about it and we can discuss it further, which was the property that we're at currently right now. But I just wanted to like use this opportunity at the beginning of the video first of all both Filippo and I feel so grateful 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 to Sanya for arranging everything for us for recommending us this place because her services are incredible I mean this was like the smoothest situation that we really had like coming here like arriving she like dealt with our hotel situation and we were like don't worry like we'll book the tickets because she actually so her agency actually can take care of everything plane like so transport from whatever you live in the world to the actual resort island itself as well as accommodation everything that you want she can take care of and we were like oh don't worry like we'll book tickets we'll book tickets all the time and then you can just help us with the hotel and when we arrived at the airport you guys Filippo's ticket didn't work I mean it's not the end of the world it's just like you know when you're really excited to go on holidays I was working the night before till 1 a.m and we were traveling we were like all around the world traveling Filippo traveled that week every single day he was on a plane so he was looking forward so much to taking that plane and then when we arrived at the airport and we found out that his ticket somehow didn't work I mean we know why basically they told because of his surname that the actual booking is not legit like that it was test or whatever so long story short we were at the airport no flights hotel booked everything so I immediately texted Sanya to say like hey listen like I mean we're not gonna be able to make it to the hotel but luckily she was so incredible she was up it was Saturday morning and she helped us book new flights immediately like it was done so like three hours later it, there were no flights left we have no idea how she managed to help us with that so this is why like this beginning of the video is fully dedicated to her go check her instagram page because she saved the day one thousand percent but i'll talk about that a little bit later like i told you guys we are at patina which is an amazing first of all resort like no other that i've seen before it's very different to everything else we've done before so as you guys know we were in maldives before we went to sort of like more of like wellness retreats but we really wanted to also see something a little bit different because so in Maldives you have like sort of like three different types of I guess holidaying you have the local hotels which are quite different because there you have to sort of follow the rules of the local life if I may say so which is really beautiful if you want to explore the culture so the culture is where you would see like more around Mali in local hotels but there also you can't really go like as a woman in a bikini for example there are stricter rules it's a very religious country Maldives which is beautiful if you want to explore the culture if you want to go on holidays I think the best 
US would be like one island, one resort. There are thousands of islands in Maldives and each island is basically a little hotel resort. So that's what it is. That's what we usually do when we come to Maldives. There's another type of, I believe, holidaying in Maldives. This is what I learned from Sanya. And it's when you go on a boat, like a fishing boat. So that's more like adventurous type of holidaying. Guys, let's not, that's not for me. Adventurous holidaying. I need to rest, to read my book and do nothing. So we came to Fatina when we finally came here, which is like a lifestyle resort. And I say lifestyle because there's so much to do. And often like, even Filippo, do you remember before you ever went to Maldives, you were, were you also worried that you would be bored here? No, no. Luckily, men forget. Baby, I can't be bored. All I need is you, and we never get bored, baby. We do our snow cool. Yes. Also, we work. <laughs> That's you true. Know? But remember, like, before oh, we do Sudoku, we sound like two pensioners. Baby, let's go. I'm starving. Same. I think, like, there's, like, a huge worry that people will get bored when they go to Maldives. But truthfully, there's so much to do here. And as you guys can see, I'm already dressed. I'm wearing this Magda Butram uh, dress. And Magda Butram actually swimming suit as well under love this we're going to have breakfast i'll bring you with us we usually chill by the pool over there like in the hotel during the morning hours and then in the afternoon we come back to our water villa okay wanted to say one last thing if any of you are planning a bit of winter sun or summer sun depending on which part of hemisphere you live i have discussed with my friend sanya that perhaps we can arrange a little discount code for you guys now this is not sponsored i just wanted to be very transparent with you guys this is a genuine gift because I really wanted to do something so you guys as well in case somebody else wants to book it in case you guys want to enjoy a little bit of sun and holidays just like Filippo and I are you get something as well so we'll put the code on the screen and I think it will be valid until end of November I'll put the details in the description box because I truly love it here and I would love to hear your feedback as well if you get to go to Patina We are at breakfast. I literally like there's so much choice and every day there's like new stuff But I always go for like little bircher muesli. So I took two and this morning I also tried to take a Danish pastry with fruits on yummy. We tried so far. You know, it's holidays There's no like the regular eating. We will go back to that at some point in life but until then i'm really enjoying the holiday lifestyle we so far tried the crab we tried the cinnamon bun which is insane also for me like the true holiday is when there's no schedule there's no wake up time the breakfast is open until 11. that really helps because we're a little bit jet lagged so when we wake up here it's like 3 a.m back home basically currently it's 10 so it's 6 a.m in milan and 5 a.m in london because actually this place is even one hour it's like closer to bangladesh actually we're in Fari Islands and uh, yeah just really want to enjoy the heaven it's a beautiful sunny day the sea is so blue oh, it just looks so gorgeous I have to say and yeah a little bit of like winter sun winter tan which will be very nice if we go back to like winter dressing in mountains so that's that but for me the true holidays are let me tell you no makeup so I haven't like applied mascara once since we arrived and we've been here for like three days I haven't actually thought about styling my hair I might do that once, maybe on the last day. We have like a romantic dinner booked at the beach. We've so far tried several different restaurants, I have to say. We went to, my favorite one was like a vegan restaurant, which basically, I'll insert some pictures. You're in this garden. Filippo, did you enjoy it as well? Yeah. And guess who just came back from the buffet as well? Oh, it was really amazing, actually. Last night, right? Yeah. So I told Filippo we're going to the vegan restaurant tonight, and Filippo was like, come on, why? And actually, he really loved it. We had, I loved the asparagus soup. I loved the seared watermelon i loved everything so last night what was your favorite dish last night the favorite baby the bowl the bowl like yeah, the, the bowl little was uh, bowl. Maybe. Oh, so good huh? maybe the best bowl but the dessert mm. how do you make such a good dessert I, and like it was so beautifully set in the garden also like it's kind of a communal table so you get yeah. to speak to everybody which i also like we got to speak to this lovely family from the uk oh it was so nice oh i'm in the video you're in the video but we didn't know you didn't know no oh, it's okay baby because you're the same off camera and on camera so i wanted to ask you one thing what is your perfect meaning of holiday because for me it's like reading a book not even bothering with SPF because you applied on my body 
Exactly. Wearing very comfortable clothes, no makeup, not doing my hair. When I come back to the room, just doing shower. Pretty much like I've been wearing this hat every single day. So it's not for accessorizing purposes. It's for the purposes that it gives me the best shade. So when I'm reading my book, I'm tanning, but I have like a nice shade around my head. And also mm -hmm. I wear same clothes. Like I don't really think about combining a lot or too much. I'm really, really enjoying myself to the max. I take a few pictures, but only on the go. It doesn't take too much of our time and we're cuddling a lot. That's my favorite best holidays. I want to hear what's your definition of really good holidays. What we're doing exactly right now, which is not thinking of booking anything, mm -hmm. not thinking of going with anybody, not thinking of what to wear, basically not thinking which happens only in Maldives. Because you know, when you go to Ibiza or Dubai or Mykonos or in any other holidays, there is always a job to do, which is the booking, which is the traffic, which is the waiting, which is who is coming, who is not coming, where are we going tonight? And that for me is a job because it's part of our yeah. normal routine, booking, traveling. But when you come to Maldives, there is no booking. There's there no is no reservation. Tables. You come here, the hotel no, did also, everything. Also, there is no reservation because we don't book anything. Because yeah. you could book thousand things here. You could book uh, whatever. Okay, so I've done like a ceramic uh, workshop, which was actually really cool. I'll also try and insert a little clip of it because what we did is we created this sort of like a little pot with holes in which marine biologists are going to put live coral to help it grow again that it got broken so i created that from clay you can do like i don't know like coffee art workshop you can do bracelet making workshop you can do oh there's so many things philippe all no, right no, there are so many things you can do but snorkeling dolphin and turtle but cruise choose, different cruises sunset cruise romantic cruise like honestly the mm -hmm. amount of like pilates yoga meditation spa treatments galore yesterday i did a watsu because you guys know i like the watsu i'll tell you a little bit more also about the general things that i haven't told you about when we arrived we took only like 45 minute boat ride from the airport to here which was i think the quickest we've ever arrived to the actual resort because there was no waiting around for the plane yeah yeah good thing is about this place is there is no plane 45 minutes boat and uh, as i said you can book 10 things a day but i decide to do nothing because this is for me like the only holidays of the year because then next week is los angeles and then is vegas and then uh, so for me here is like do nothing thing which is the true luxury of a places like that you know i think sometimes people think we're a little bit weird because actually like our lives are so active that when we come on holidays we just want to have a passive life but a lot of people you know they have like kind of routines that are always like no, look, similar uh, look, to it, it like depends which kind of life you have if you have a, like a, a nine to five life or an office life when you come to Maldives, you want to do experience stuff, things you I want understand. to you want to go out you want to do to see the turtles you want to see the the coral um, reef. Uh, reef you want to see this you want to play soccer you want to but it's okay but with the lifestyle we have that's why we we are so good together because we like the thing the same things we wake up we come here for breakfast and that's already relaxing because we have one hour where we check our phone from the day before because here we are you know at this time now in europe is night so we check our mails we check our phones and then we go there and we stay there the whole day yeah and we chill and that's holidays Exactly. To us. I have to say that for me also like holidays is not too much on my phone because I'm not really spending that much time. No, no, you're not. I don't even know where my phone is right now, to be honest. But yes, you know, when I worked in the pharmacy, I remember when the weekends would come, I had to do so many things. Of course. Because otherwise I felt yeah, like yeah. my weekends were not utilized properly. So that's kind of how you want to do. And I, I love that as well. But I also think for me, like with different people, I spend holidays differently. But with Filippo, I just like to chill and talk and bond and connect. That's and why when we come to Maldives, it's uh, the real holidays. Because as I said before, with what we do and with the personality we have. If I go to Dubai, it's business because we love what we do. So we try to make the best out of it. When you go in a place where there are cool people and business people, then that's what you do, you know? It's about connection. My job is about connection. Is it good? It looks delicious. Do you want to try? No, I'm good. I'm good, thanks. So, so yeah, Maldives is the, the real holidays. Now let's go and enjoy the day. Guys, we were gonna do some sports, like jet skis and snorkeling, but we decided to do it in the late afternoon now because uh, some of the friends that we met at the beach, they're doing it as well then. But I wanna show you this other pool. It's so beautiful. Okay, look at this, how gorgeous. So quiet and 
peaceful. Philippe was waiting there for me, as you can see. But I wanted to show you. This is like another option. Maybe we'll come here tomorrow to chill, actually, because we love it. I hope the camera will show the blue that's in the pictures. It's so blue. It's incredible. We're just exploring a little bit because there's so many restaurants. You know, honestly, there are more restaurants than it's possible to explore, even for us who are staying here for like seven days. But it's so cute. And there's one area very close by which actually has like little food trucks, which I think is brilliant. So wonderful. You see, this is what I was telling you about. It's so cute. It's kind of like a festival vibe here. This burger. There is like buns and things like, oh, so delicious. And then there's ice cream here. Filippo already had ice cream. I haven't had ice cream yet, but will today after lunch. I want to show Filippo because two days ago, I actually did one of these uh, clay formations. I can see mine. Okay, I brought Filippo to see, to guess, because I've done one of these ceramic uh, formations before. This is like to save the coral. By the way, you make like holes and then they put live coral inside of them so that they can grow back and make the reef healthier and he thought that this is the one i made wait, wait Filippo, i need to show you which one i did but what i wanted just to tell you is that i and now because obviously i know which one's mine he said this one's the most beautiful yes and now that i know which one's mine I, I think a lot of people after me actually copied my work and this is mine by the way wow yeah look i put my initials i'm not supposed to touch it i know because it could fall apart but i put my initials here here you see tk so cute we're getting in a buggy back to the pool but i just wanted to show you here is a beautiful james terrell actually piece which is incredible to see I, I wish you would have seen it during the day but now we're wet because inside during the day when you see the sky yeah. james terrell stuff is incredible i've seen his pieces in arizona and other places is gorgeous love it and at night it changes color my phone is overheating so it stops recording because it's quite hot so you guys can imagine we're going back now, Nazi Goren. No, I love Nazi Goren. Both Filippo and I ordered nazi goren. It's like rice and prawn and what else, Filippo? Vegetables. Egg. There's also some chicken skewers, but to be honest, I might even skip the chicken. As you guys can see, we're a highly competitive couple <laughs> in sports, if you may call it so. But um, we're finishing it up and going back to the sun to enjoy this beautiful sunny day. Now he's showing off. <laughs> Loves it. It's so funny because like every sport or game we come across, Philip asks me, do you know how to play? Pretty much everything I know how to play. I wouldn't say I'm like great at everything, but he's always so shocked. You know what I was just saying, baby? You're always so shocked that I can play these things. Okay, hey, let's do it. This baby we can buy at home. I love this one. Right? Are you ready? Okay. This is so small. <laughs> I love it. It's like a heart section. <laughs> To react, you know. I want to like this. Yeah. Okay. Now, who, who goes wrong? I can do five squat. Okay. No, no, baby. Five squat. Go. Five squat, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, nice. that's not a proper squat. <laughs> Your face was ah, yeah. nice. <laughs> it's so hard to do five squats in the sun, you know? Living, look how hard I don't want. Ah! Go. How hard I don't want to do squats. Maybe one, two, three, go down. I am. Four, five. This art by Pamela Longobardi was actually revealed during this week that we're here and it's like uh, all the waste from the ocean created into a piece of art, which I think is like, let me give you a wider view pretty incredible and also a little bit devastating at the same time but you know art's supposed to make you feel stuff right it's a lot of art around here citrusy thank you so but much this looks together yummy with the citrusy delicious thing. i think Filippo, my uh, ice cream order is better can't wait for the spoon what are your three favorite ice cream flavors we yeah rosatella yeah that i know for sure number one dark chocolate number two number three i, I know i know i know what lemon yes well done i was like you know it's a bit 80s actually 70s but it would be lemon 
Ruby, I know you so well. I don't know if like I know myself as well as I know you. Maybe. It's you crazy how well you get to know but someone. Maybe it's not crazy. We've been living together every day for uh, three years. So if you don't know me, if you don't know me, who else? Okay, what are my top three ice cream flavors? Maybe pistachio. Number one. For sure. Mm -hmm. And then to be honest, I have no idea because uh, that's the main one. And then you like uh, uh, nocciola. No, no, that's my mom, strawberry. I like everything that is not heavy. So vanilla, strawberry, mango. Yeah, but you don't have like me. Coconut. You don't have like me a strong one, you know? Pistachio. Yeah, pistachio. It's easier to say what I don't like. Chocolate, baby. You I don't just like don't chocolate like ice cream. don't like chocolate at all, but it depends. Because then, maybe the almonds covered by chocolate, you love it. Love it. No, no, I love chocolate as chocolate. I don't like chocolate cake, chocolate ice cream, anything tasty. You like cacao. Chocolate mousse, but I like the chocolate. So like you know chocolate bar yeah. or fond like chocolate fondant like or chocolate covered almonds or chocolate mostly I like but I don't like chocolate pudding chocolate mousse but you also don't like chocolate cake chocolate ice cream chocolate cake don't like because it's like flavored with chocolate but you like Nutella mm, love Nutella also you see I don't like overpowering Nutella I just yeah I'm weird. Good evening, my favorite people. Spent our day so wholesomely. Wow, it's so beautiful. Let me get out in front so you guys can see in front of the road. I love it so much when day starts changing into the night. So beautiful, Look, some people there shooting some TikToks. Quite cute. We spend most of the day lounging, taking really like time for ourselves, me reading. I almost finished my beautiful book that I'm reading, which is by the way by Solke Kinsella. It's just like my perfect writer for holidays. And what else have we been doing? Just like enjoying the downtime. I now did a little tiny bit of work, but that's okay. And now I'm gonna get ready. Ready for the dinner. Let's see what I'm gonna wear. Okay guys, wanted to show you what I'm wearing tonight. I hope you can see it, it's this blue. I honestly, I feel almost guilty because like 80% of my uh, holiday wardrobe is Magda Butram. But this blue dress, look how beautiful it is. It has this wire. I think you guys remember when I got it, right? And it's so beautiful. Half open back and then, I don't know how far back i need to go for you guys to see but it's like full length you'll have to go and watch my tiktok or i'll insert something here now i need to go and make myself look a bit more presentable because well yeah james Terrell at night ladies and gentlemen we're on our way to dinner guys we're having dinner at farine and it's starters are buffet and then mains are a la carte it's kind of like partially italian european i mean you'll see all kinds of different things very fresh it's so funny because I was just tricking people. Obviously, this is the kind of food I would say we eat the most at home. But I was um, teasing Filippo and I told him, wow, this is my favorite Italian dish. Which obviously is not Italian, it's Spanish, but just wanted to make a joke, you know, to an Italian. They're so proud of their food and I love that. It's my favorite cuisine, I would say, in the world. And it just looks so good. Guys, I had pasta with some seafood. Filippo had tuna, he loves a good tuna. It was delicious, as you can see. This was my bag of the night. Love it. I feel like I'm barefoot, but I'm not. There are some shoes somewhere <laughs> under the table. And Filippo has gone to bring us dessert. And this is also my hair tie because I haven't got a single hair tie because I lost them all. So this is very embarrassing, but it's reality check. Good morning guys, it's a new day. Today I'm wearing a bit of pink. I feel like I haven't worn this hat in such a long time and after wearing the huge Gucci one with like a big brim, it feels like it's so tiny that I'm like, is this gonna be enough? You know, that's the kind of effect Gucci hat has now. Let me show you my outfit. Have you the hair streams? What did you, Do you like it? A Pucci, I actually got it for the summer holidays, but then it arrived on the day that we were leaving. I love the, I love the cut of it. Yeah, yeah. You but like it? In front, yeah, yeah. So that's the swimming suit. This is the Christopher Esbor skirt that I also wore this summer holidays. Pretty much everything is, I haven't actually bought much new stuff. I have one dress I think that is new or maybe a few of the Magda Butron ones that I got for normal like November stuff. Got this pink hat. I've had this since Paris, I think. Yes. And then the Chanel glasses. I also have like a pink shirt because I don't know if I'm gonna shoot this with the skirt or with the shirt. I'm talking about the swimming suit. We'll see about that. I feel like I need a touch of pink today. That's how I felt when I woke up. So that's the look for this morning. We have to run actually because what's this in the sea? Turn around. Can you see it looks a bit strange? There's like a line, you see? 
Yes, there is a line, but maybe probably a boat. Mm. I don't see a boat coming. Maybe it's dolphins. Uh, no, no, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe there is a like uh, a lot of dolphins. Yeah. No, no, for sure, is a, a, a lot of dolphins, baby. Like maybe one thousand dolphins that can do uh, <gasps> yes. like that. Yeah. Maybe let's go. Let's yes, go. we need to go because I really need a coffee today, guys. Guys, I'm so upset. I don't think the microphone was on. We were filming and I was saying welcome to the morning show of Filippo and Tamara and I was translating what's in Filippo's porridge from Italy. Anyway, Maybe actually you didn't miss anything. No, uh, the, you did because the, there is... Um, how is it called? Sun, sunflowers. Sun sunflower seed, seeds. Seed. Okay. Then we have nuts, which is the most powerful food. Okay. So then we food. have uh, honey, we have the porridge, also healthy, and healthy. then we have this. What is it? It's uh, like a gelatin thing, also very powerful. Mm. This is quite... Uvetta is raisins. It's not uvetta, it's uvetta. <laughs> uvetta. In the north of Italy we close the vocal. Uvetta. How and do you call it in your dialect? Uvetta. <laughs> mm. You know why porridge is the best food? Why? It's supposed to keep you full for a long time. Yeah. Okay, let me show you what I have on my plate, okay? I have, as always, bircher mostly, which I love so much. Yeah, and what is I that? Have a Danish pastry with mango and something. Yeah. And I know you're so jealous. The jealousy is screaming out of you that I took it. And also, that you're like on your health mission and I'm like literally eating the best food. I have apple, celery, something juice. I already had one green juice, but it was a different one. Uh, that one contained flaxseed. It's another superfood. And I have my oatmeal latte, which has a heart coffee art in it look yours doesn't have a heart i think barista thinks i'm cute baby what's the plan for today my love so the plan is the weather is a little bit Rayish. not that sunny which is to be honest i'm very happy with it because yesterday it so was good. unbearable yeah it was so, so hot so today we chill we oh, rest it's not unbearable but okay we're gonna chill we like baby, it when it's a bit cloudy book. today i'm gonna read my new book that baby. my mother-in-law who are you showing it to wait uh, it's a surprise ah, okay my god she has to control everything Anyway, a book that my mother-in-law gave me, which I'm sending so much love, because I love Vesna, and she gave me this. Baby, why are you in focus and I'm not? Because it focuses eyes. Really? Yeah. Anyway, is this. And she told me, so you will understand better people from Belgrade, which means two things. First one, that she thinks I don't understand people from Belgrade. <laughs> and uh, second, because she thinks I need to understand people from my game. I think you need to understand. Maybe I'm very happy. But also, you know, like I tell you so much about like the history and the culture and things there and why are we the way we are. So Maybe it should help so much. You should already know some stuff. Yeah, no? especially when it's 3 a.m. and you can't sleep. Anyway. Guys, I wanted to tell you about the Netflix series we're watching. It is called Tapi. It's about an entrepreneur, like a French entrepreneur called Bernard Tapi. I'm sure that uh, all the the boys in Belgrade knows about Tapi because he was very famous because he was the president of the, um, you know, Olympique Marseille won Champions League once, uh, like uh, Red Stars. So also, I'm sure all my French followers know who he is. So he also you know, when when you when you win the Champions League once, you will always remember. And uh, Bernard Tapie was the president of OM Olympique Marseille, 1993. And uh, this series is about his career, how much he was coming from nowhere, and he from achieved the, and he achieved the Eliseo, you know. So from nowhere, she went to talk to the it's president. It's not really from nowhere, but from like he was from projects from the. Yeah, like, no, but I'm nowhere. I mean, you know, the. He the, wasn't an aristocrat. His, fa his family was a working class yeah. family, you know, and he ended up talking to Mitterrand, which was uh, the president France, at the time. Yeah, president. He was very long president of France. Yeah. I anyway, watch it because it's so beautiful and so inspiring you know what is the most inspiring thing about that series no the fact that how he's that, so determined and ambitious no it's my theory you know my theory is that for a man it's so important to have the right woman next to it because a wrong woman wrong man that's my theory but we can talk about it in another time because it's a long theory Filippo thinks that like a woman doesn't really get as influenced by a man as a man gets influenced by a woman but I think both get very influenced by each other I don't other. think it's my own theory Be because I come from a a strong woman in my family, my mom, and the man that, uh, I mean, my father, you know him, he's the best, but no, what, I, what I mean is that with the right woman, a man can perform incredibly. I think the same about the woman. The, on the other, man can really put you down. On the woman. other way around, I saw successful men with the wrong woman and they lost it. Same, I've seen so that a lot. I think that the woman is more capable to go on her own path. Even with, sorry, with the wrong man, a woman can, she's so strong. And this series you will see because the man was a little a bit uh, all over the places. He was getting lost a few times. 
but she was there stick there you know supporting and even when when there is one episode which is beautiful i tell you this little story he had to do to go live on the show and uh, he couldn't talk because no voice like he lost it. he lost the voice and he couldn't uh, do something and uh, and the wife said don't worry i take care of it and she did it anyway you have to see it it's really really I love the, really I love amazing the i love the series because i find it very inspiring in terms of like as someone who comes from a small country i wouldn't compare it the same but it's like when you come to like a huge country from a small country and you don't know anybody and you change everything around you you feel equally challenged you know you start everything fresh and you needed that drive you know but what i admire the most is that he never gave up he had so many challenges yep and he never gave up anyway watch it we're gonna finish the breakfast and then we're gonna read at the beach yep and this was the few morning thoughts with tamara and filippo yeah uh, you know what what? Can you guys, can I talk to your people or is yeah. it, are you jealous? No. Guys, can you come up with a, with the name of this morning show so that we can do it? In maybe Vlogmas. I'm going to LA next week <laughs> so I can talk to some people and maybe we can make it happen. Lol. Why lol? Maybe. Don't put any limits. No limits. We could do the, the morning show. At least during Vlogmas we can do it on this channel. So, it's so good, you're missing out so much. I'm having brown bread with jam and butter. I love it. Anyway guys, we love you very much. We'll see you in five minutes. <laughs> Guys, we are by the pool. Remember how Filippo was saying he eats porridge because it keeps him full longer? So it should have been two hours later and he's like, let's order some food by the pool. It is cloudy. I'm reading my book, which is like a very easy chick flick. It's a Sophie Kinsella, The Burnout. It's quite actually a serious topic, I think, The Burnout. And I think it happens in every absolute, every aspect sphere of any kind of profession it can happen in any business and it's very very deep and complex i would say matter especially things like in creative industries like you kind of need to really avoid it but it's quite also interesting for me to read about it in a little bit of more humorous and entertaining way i love to read sophie kinsella books on my holidays because it puts me so far from everything else that i do normally in everyday life because usually i like to read like sort of self-improvement books i hate the title self-help so self-improvement books and it's just like interesting to read this because it's very soft and soothing and different so we're gonna order some snacks we're chilling enjoying here it's warm and cozy and even if it's like a little bit cloudy i quite enjoy it i can't quite explain it it's just like you know you have to get the best out of everything i think i'm gonna have either the pokeball do you want to have margarita to share yeah 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 okay Ooh. also chilled watermelon platter sounds great to be honest i'll have the salmon poke without the pickled onion guys look at this messy heavy chair we are actually heading to the spa for a couple massages is it a couple's massage or is I it i think so but i'm not sure or is it individual massages i think it's uh... I think I hope it's couple massage. Same, but maybe is. Uh... So that I don't want to separate from you. Mm. She's Can... she's guilty. For what? I don't know. <laughs> you think just because I'm cute that I'm guilty? Mm, I don't know. You have to something be. to be forgiven. What? No idea. But maybe you cannot just accuse me. No. no. Innocent until proven guilty. Filippo requires a lot of attention when he wants it. You excuse me? What do you say? That you require a lot of attention. LOL! <laughs> but only when he wants it. Yeah, yeah. And if he doesn't get it, he is a bit like... Let's ask uh, to your people if uh, they think that who needs more attention between you and I. It's true, I need more attention. But only if I... This is... Look, this is me and I think this is listen, so fair. Listen, the most important thing, the most important question is who looks better with this eye? Me or her? You look better in everything. I think that I need more attention, but if I know that I'm the center of your universe, I don't need anything. Just you I are. need to know it. And I know that I'm center of your universe, so I don't really require anything. That's so simple. Uh, no? So we're now going to the spa i love that filippo packs all our beach bags and everything so i can just show up wait, wait, let's i literally have the, the best there. wait wait just a second best man ever just a second i want to take a picture of all the guys watching guys smile 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 for the us picture's coming and now we have a picture of all the people watching 
<laughs> imagine that would be so cool if this was like a window and i could like look into the screens to see you guys as well because i'm genuinely i would love that maybe we should invent it any like tech savvy people out there that would be pretty cool but you would have to watch live then i guess that's difficult also okay anyway enough thinking let's go to the massage <laughs> You know that, that there was nothing more than I needed than this. Than this, right? Yeah, you too. Love it. Mm. It was so fresh. I love it. Do you like it? Love it. Your face doesn't say it, but it's really delicious. <laughs> because you know what I can feel? The sedan. Celery. No, sedano. You know what the sedano is? Do you know what sedano is? What this is knows? like sedano. Nobody taste knows, knows what is sedano. <laughs> Wait, I tell you. Sedano, it's uh, celery. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> what did you say? Times. Celery? Yeah, I said celery, and you were like, no. Ah, okay, no, anyway, this is this like is a my cel everyday this life. Is celery juice. Everyday life. No? Yes, correct. <laughs> Changing time. I was wearing the Pucci swim today and then couples massage. I really need the massage, you guys. It's so beautiful. Right, oh, it's perfect. It's wonderful. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Guys, massage done. It was so good and such a beautiful hour to finish because it's very relaxing. It's so zen. Guys, 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 guys. Well, I haven't actually vlogged today. However, it started raining. Can you see? And now, slowly but surely, my camera is getting wet and my phone that it's perched on is also getting wet and I'm not sure that's really good for the electronic equipment but we should get inside, hold on you see, the rain is real, let's get in okay guys, so today we haven't really vlogged much because to be very honest, besides the activities that we do like yesterday we had the massage, I've done watsu, I've done ceramic workshop I've done, what else did we have maybe during these days? maybe we did nothing <laughs> <laughs> we also nothing. had scheduled snorkeling but for we, this morning, you know what we did a lot. but we, we ended up not storm. going. We ended up not going to snorkeling this morning because it was raining, but also because, to be very honest with you guys, is it okay if I say we were lazy? And you know, sometimes I just think you need to well, listen to we, your body. We brainstorm a, brainstorm a lot about business, about different and businesses. You know, it's something to underestimate because we never have a time to talk. So yeah, we kind of worked, but like in a different way too, usually. And uh, we enjoyed then we took in the views of sea which are honestly look it's even more beautiful i think when it's raining does anybody agree with me no i don't know what happened to my sling bag but Filippo, you, i literally love that Filippo is always helping with everything he just said like you chill and sit and relax and i will pack the suitcases we're leaving tomorrow and i look like well i'm tanned at least because we tanned these days we chilled a bit in the sun mainly in the shades to be very honest with you guys but yeah i'm loving Having this Gucci set that I'm wearing right now, I've got also a Celine swimming suit on. The truth is, we had such a good time. Honestly, loved it here. Like I said, obviously we could have done lots more activities like meditation, yoga, like coffee art. What else we had scheduled? Like we had all these like cruises and sunset bits and bobs. But Filippo and I were just a little bit lazy. We wanted to really rest and come back to Europe and to winter cold, completely rested, completely you know when you just sort of like know that you have like a hardcore work when you come back and then you want to make the most out of the holiday before like the weekend before so you're just like let's take this in then i can come back tanned rested and push through the fall winter period until the christmas basically the rain is so peaceful and calming one thing that i've done throughout this holiday that i think is like has been really nice is obviously we had like every morning we had like a nice breakfast we ran to breakfast and we enjoyed the sun but like i journaled we in the evening we always like watch something really easy for the brain like something chilled we brainstormed a lot Filippo and i between ourselves regarding many different like things and aspects of our life i came up with like a lots of random little things or what i wanted to do lots of content ideas i don't know you know when you just feel like your brain is refreshed managed well done baby yeah thank you so much wow baby it's a storm huh? the rain for a sec yeah thanks to you so that's kind of what was your best best favorite aspect of this holiday filippo i want to hear from you tough because we, did, we didn't do much. Uh, we loved the breakfast, but I wouldn't say the breakfast was the best moment. But Filippo takes long, lots of time. So I'll tell you what was my favorite. My favorite about being here was reading my book and being without the electronic device for a majority of the day, playing 
with Filippo ping pong and basketball in the pool. We ah, played. No, the best, best, best time of holidays was the basketball on the pool. Yeah. The best. We played the basketball on the and pool you. all the time, Filippo and I, like every single day. We played, um, as you guys know, ping pong. We played like pool. We played. What else did we play? Do we have a question for everybody? Yes. Guys, when you pack at the end of holidays, are you happy? Or not because me, we discuss this a lot me i'm always happy when i pack you know what's like really funny about us we like really crave holidays and enjoy holidays but when we're coming home we're also very happy like i'm never ever ever sad for going home because i always actually enjoy going home as much as i enjoy being on holidays something like interesting the massage yesterday was so good wow i can still feel like in my neck and in my head i must say i agree Philippe and I were like really impressed with the massage. Oh, For me, I really enjoyed also the ceramic workshop and like I said, those little sport moments with Filippo because they really let my brain engage with some kind of different activity than my usual ones. And just like reading chick flick kind of novel. You know what I mean? It's felt very, very comfortable and cozy. Now we're gonna start packing. Well, from what it seems like Filippo's already started packing. Can you see down there? This is the book, by the way, that Filippo is reading. I think we told you, the magic of Belgrade. And yeah, he was already laughing about certain things that when they are describing the mentality of Serbian people. So that's it, we're gonna pack now. I need to do a few little things, few little orders that I want to place now for home. I know you might be thinking that I'm shopping. No, not really. Like I need to place some orders for home before we go back because I want them to arrive Awesome. And that's that. I'll fill you in. I'll fill you in. Look at this. But I'll fill you in as we continue. Mm -hmm.